Okay. Mm -hmm. So we talked a lot about so, crush proof hoses on um, Mila's and whatnot. Uh, and Come on, look at this. Two. Okay. This is a yeah, camera. We, we got this in for a trade in. And uh, let me take a look. <laughs> Buddy here hasn't realized. Uh, can you just hold on a second, please? I'm sorry. I'm, you, I'm sorry. Can you hold, hold that line? Thank you. Move. Can I ask you to move and stop ruining my hoses here? Shoot. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Thank you. I'm really sorry. Hello. Come over here. Damn. What a, that... So this is, uh, we actually wanted to do this for a long time now. Compare the Mila's yeah. with your, uh, I'm really sorry. with the Kenmore's. Okay. So this is one of the things that so, um, kind of instigated yeah. this video. That hose, first of all, you're not going to find this hose anymore because uh, Kenmore's gone, right? Uh, but this hose would have cost quite a pretty penny to replace. And all he did was sit this by mistake. Now, this is never going to be used. Every time you vacuum anything, it's going to get clogged up here. Okay. And you know what? Let me let me do that quick Mila Kenmore comparisons because we get a lot of customers who are ex-Kenmore owners looking at Mila's. So this probably is as good a time as good a time as any. But you know what? Let me get my microphone. That way my sound is going to come out nicer. So just hold on one second. Hi everybody, my name is Rod. This is the Vacuum Warehouse. Make sure you call us and ask us about the trade-in program we have for your old Kenmore vacuum cleaner because that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. A lot of people that we know, a lot of our customers, a good percentage are ex-Kenmore owners. They're always asking, what's the difference between my Kenmore and the Milo vacuums that you sell. On Kenmore's were made uh, for Sears by Panasonic out of Japan until 2016. And they were fantastic machines. Now there's always some things that Mila did better than Kenmore, and I'll show you what those are. But they were really good machines, I have to admit, okay? But the thing is, they're now aging and they're dying, right? So people are looking out, what are you gonna get? Now the closest thing to a Kenmore is Mila because they're all, they're both bagged, they're canisters and they come with power heads. Okay, so it's a very natural transition from a Kenmore to a Mila, specifically any Mila C3 model. But here's what Mila did better than the Kenmore, okay, throughout all these years. By the way, anyone who bought a Kenmore from 2016 onwards, forget it, they were made by some other company, Panasonic stopped making them in 2016. So they've been a disappointment ever since. However, Back to the circle. Now, Kenmore, this is a very popular Kenmore Elegance. As we just talked about the hoses, we're not crush proof. They're actually pretty heavy and they don't swivel from here uh, or here, which actually means a lot of times the hoses would go bad um, because they, they don't move around. So there's always, there's always tension uh, right here and right here. Mila's actually, do, you know what? I'm gonna bring you Mila, a C3 Mila is a very uh, comparable model to the Kenmore as far as size and uh, you know the equipments and attachments they get. Now you will see with Mila's that here they swivel. So if, even if this is fixed here, whatever I turn around, it will translate to right here, this twists. So this removes any tension during your, not only that, they're crush proof hoses. I can do this all day long and nothing's gonna happen to this hose. And then the th you don't have to come and change the hose or pay a whole bunch of money to get this hose repaired. Uh, well, replaced, because there's no repairing it. Now that's one thing. Very basically, this, the Mila's are lighter than the Kenmore. Number one, number two. Kenmore's, you see, they have big wheels here. So that means they could be awkward, especially if you're going from side to side. Okay, Milas have casters all over, so all three are casters, so they move around a lot nicer and easier. So even if I wanted to do this, no problem, right? This, no problem. So that's another thing that Milas do better than the Kenmore's. I'm gonna grab the power head that this Kenmore came with. I know well, there was a couple of things that Kenmore did very well, and I'll tell you exactly what that is. Another thing you're gonna notice is the, that this is a pretty big thing with Kenmore's. It's just two wands coupled together with this piece of plastic, and a lot of times, and God knows the amount of times that people have broken this thing here, okay? Number one, number two, this is not an adjustable telescopic wand, so you're pretty much stuck to that height, right, um, of the wand, whereas, 
with a Mila, you get a completely adjustable height uh, as far as the wand is concerned. And the fact that it's all one piece, so there's no weak spots here in the middle. The other thing you're gonna notice is the Kenmore has the wires running out. They're exposed with a Mila. And this is a, even a 20 year old Mila. Um, the, all the wires are integrated throughout uh, that wand and where it connects to the power head. So another thing Mila did very well. A huge, whoa, I got stuck. Huge difference is when it comes to filtration. Now, a Kenmore, it did say they take HEPA filters. As a matter of fact, this one might take a HEPA filter somewhere here. Yeah, filter cover or something. Uh, but if I manage to take this out without breaking it, I will show you that it's actually not really sealed. I'm gonna forget this part for a second because I'm gonna look ridiculous on the camera, okay? But wait, when it comes to here, first of all, most Kenmore's took paper bags, just like this, or very thin cloth bags in the best case scenario. Um, and you see that a lot of the times, this is what you're gonna deal with, all the dirt inside the canister because these paper bags were not really nice bags. But these ones, the Nilas, that's a nine layer cloth bag. And what I want you to notice here is the seal system. And this continues all the way through in. So as far as filtration is concerned, a lot of the Kenmores throw a lot of dust back into the air because they're not sealed and because of the type of bags they take. And because although some of them say a HEPA filter, where the air comes out through that HEPA filter, that HEPA filter itself is not sealed. Okay, so, but Milos don't do that. Everything is sealed, none of the dust comes out. So that's one huge difference where it comes to uh, the difference between the Kenmore and a Mila. Now Kenmore's did have a pretty convenient feature when it comes to the handle. So you have two settings, you have off, floor, and carpet. Basically the carpet would operate the power head, the floor would stop the power head from running and off is off. Mila's have the six suction settings right here. Six suction settings. So there's anything from curtains, furniture, rugs, quiet, wall-to-wall -wall carpets, and hard floors. The on and off button he is here on a Mila, and they have a switch on the handle that turns the power head on and off. Quite honestly, I like this setup. I like the fact that everything is right here. And there is a Mila model that does that, and that's their top of the line model called the C3 Power Plus. But the other C3 models have the on and off buttons on the canister itself and the power it turns on and off from there. The other thing you're gonna notice with this specific model is that the Kenmore power heads only came in one size and one model. Uh, they're heavy, okay? They're large, but they're heavy. And the other problem is, especially when it comes to maintaining this when you have a lot of hair being wrapped around here, you have all these bars. So this brush is not really accessible. It's not easy to work with to pull all the hair out. Whereas with all the Mila power heads, and you will notice this throughout, there's never any bars in the middle. All right, so you're, you have a lot easier of an access to be able to maintain a brush roll on a Mila vacuum. Now, the one thing I really like about this Kenmore power head, which was one of the most popular one, is it actually came with three height adjustable settings. That lever there allows you to go between low, well, sorry, extra low, low, medium, and high. So it's a four height adjustable setting power head, which allows the power head to adjust its height uh, compared to the surface, the pile of the rug that you're using. With Mila, their basic power head, which is actually a very popular power head because it's compact, it's light, and it's easy to use. It doesn't, however, have that height adjustability feature, but there are two other models that do. As a matter of fact, the C3 cat and dog model and the C3 Power Plus models both have five adjustable height settings, okay? Not only that, another thing I liked about the Kenmores is that they do have a headlamp on their power head. With the C3 Power Plus power head, you do have a headlamp, the other ones don't. However, this has an anti-jam feature and it's a lot easier 
to move as far as uh, the maneuverability on the neck of the power is concerned. Now this is their top of the line machine, but that follows through with pretty much any power head that you have here. It's just, they're very easy, especially under stuff, okay? Now with this one here, you're going to find you don't have that maneuver. I can twist this all day long, but that's a fixed neck. So when it goes to twisting this thing around, it's just not as easy to use than a Mila power head. So that's the reason a Mila, that's the difference between generally what a Kenmore did and what a Mila does, but also the fact that they are a very natural transition. Now, one of the first things I said on this video is we got this on a trade-in. We actually have a program where if you do have a Kenmore and you are considering a Mila vacuum cleaner, we will give you a trade-in on your Kenmore against the purchase of a Mila. But give us a call for that. You know, ask us about that because some models apply, some don't, okay? 1-877-220-5656. You can chat with us online or you know, send us an email. Thanks.